Hello everyone. Let us discuss another important problem on nomenclature based on cyclic structures. So you can see that the question asked here is to identify the correct IUPAC name of the given structure. So if we can see that this is not a straight chain compound and and uh, nothing but a cyclic compound. So let us try to figure out how to write the IUPAC name of this particular structure. So in order to determine the IUPAC name, the first thing that we can see by looking at the structure is that it is not a straight chain compound but a cyclic compound, and therefore the system would be prefixed with cyclo. And now how many carbon atoms are there? We can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms, and therefore this is a hex system. Now, is it an alkane or an alkene? By easily looking at the structure, we can see that there is one double bond present, and therefore the system would be nothing but a cyclohexene. Suppose this, there was no double bond in this, then the system would be called, or the base compound would be called cyclohexane. So now that we have cyclohexane system here, we need to identify that the we can see that the principal functional group suffix. in this case would be an alkene and similarly based on the same fact the system would end with ene cyclohexene and now we can see that there are two ways of numbering this particular system that is by starting here going in clockwise direction such that it go chlorine is at one position 1 2 3 4 5 6 or we can also name a number it anti clockwise direction In a way that one starts here and fluorine occupies a two position one two three four five. Now there are two both these ways could be correct because essentially numbering is starting with the principal functional group. So which among this is the correct one? So let us look at the position of the substituents here. Now if we look at this particular system, we can see fluorine is at first position and bromine is at third position. Now, if we try to name it this way, we can see that chlorine is at second position and bromine is at sixth position. So, which among this has lower numbering? We can see that the lower numbering is one three is lesser than two six, and therefore the correct way of numbering would be this way, such that chlorine or the substituent has the lowest number, which is one. Now, another possibility the uh, could be also that you might think that. This is also a possibility that we can start numbering from bromine, such that this could be another way. In this case, also substituents are at one and three positions. Here also we have substituents at one and three. Here we have substituents at two and six. So these two also correct. But remember, we can see that bromine is not the principal functional group. Always numbering starts in such a way that the principal functional group receives the lowest number. Our principal functional group is alkene, and therefore this structure is absolutely wrong way of numbering. Now let's go further. So here we have again summarized that the green structure is correct because chlorine has uh, receives lower number, and now now we have two substituents. We have chlorine and bromine. So after numbering, how do we name the substituents? Substituents, as we have seen previously, will be named based on their alphabetical preference. So based on all these things, we can see that the correct IUPAC name of the given structure is nothing but three bromo one chloro cyclo hex one ene. Or simply, if we start numbering from here, bromine is coming at third position. Three bromo one chloro cyclo hexene, where bromine and fluorine are acting as your prefixes because they are substituents. Cyclo hexene is your system, and ene is the suffix here. So again, I repeat, bromine comes before chlorine because Br comes before chlorine because of their alphabetical preference. I hope this is very clear.